What's up guys? Welcome to another Culico exhaust building vlog. In this video, we're going to be building a 2023 FC Husqvarna 450 racing exhaust. This exhaust system is going to be used for AFT, the Pro Flat Track Racing Series. On the welding table here, you'll see all of the materials and components we'll use to build the FC 450 exhaust. Start out with the header material. First, we're going to use a 45 degree bend at a 3 inch center line radius. And then we're going to step up to the next size and we're going to use a 5 inch center line radius U-bend. We're going to cut it in half and just use one side of it. Next, we'll move over to the megaphone and the canister components. There's a tapered cone, a megaphone, and a reverse cone. We'll get welded together like this. The next component is the canister transition. So these two pieces will get welded together. And then that's what steps up the megaphone up to the canister. We'll be using four inch titanium for the canister. Muffler core material is stainless steel perforated. End cap is a custom piece that we make at Cullico. It's a 6061 black anodized billet end cap. So this will actually hold the perforated core and all the packing inside the muffler and this end cap completes the muffler. Lastly, some spring tabs and springs will finish off the header and that's what fastens the exhaust to the cylinder head. Next, I wanna show you guys the exhaust fixture. Pretty simple, this is a short little exhaust pipe that we're building. This is where the header will attach initially, it gets expanded over, and this acts as the flange on the cylinder head. And then the header will run through here, megaphone, and then canister. And every fixture I have, I keep a little folder with information, and this is very rudimentary, but I have all of my header material and bends laid out in templates, so I can lay this over the bend, make my lines, cut it, and I don't have to guess. The next steps are welding up a few of the components. We're gonna start by welding the megaphone to the reverse cone, and then we're gonna weld up the two canister inlet pieces, the flange and the reducer. Parts are tacked up, ready to be welded. As you can see here, I've installed the back purge components. You just wanna block the end here with tin foil, poke a few holes so there's a little restriction. Here's a back purge cup with a quick release fitting. Attach the back purge hose and you'll fill the inside of the part with argon. If you're unfamiliar with what back purge is, you fill the inside of the part with argon, your welding gas, and it shields the inside of that weld, that molten weld, when you're welding it and it keeps it very clean and strong. components are finished welded. Very clean welds all the way around and you can see the back purge worked really well on the inside. Very clean on the inside. Now we're going to slide this over and finish weld this seam and weld the two pieces together. Finished welding. We'll work on the header material. As you can see, I have the fixture laid out here. I've cut two pieces of header from our templates out of the jig folder. And the next part is I need to expand this first header to fit over the flange like this. Expand it up to size for the cylinder head flange. We're going to slide it into the fixture to test it. Now we're going to expand the other side of header piece number one to meet up with header piece number two. Header tubes are trimmed up and everything is ready to be tacked. And this pipe is getting closer. Header pieces are now tacked to the megaphone section. I've got back purge flowing and we're ready for finish welding. The header megaphone portion is welded.
next, we need to fasten the canister to the exhaust and we're gonna drill four holes and use pop rivets. Need to make our perforated core. As you can see, I have my stainless steel perforated laid out here. Our perforated core rolled and now we're gonna tack it up. Next, we're gonna be packing the muffler. So we're gonna take our perforated core and the first layer of packing is going to be this steel wool material. Remainder of the packing is gonna be this four stroke string material. And we're ready for the end cap. All right, it's in. Looks very nice. We're almost done. Last thing is adding the sticker. I do need some screws. I gotta go pick some up. So I guess there is not screws in the pipe, but it is finished. removable baffle for the end. For some reason they're in an area of the country where they're not passing the sound decibel. That's an insurance policy. And here's your mounting strap with high temp rubber. That's it. That's a complete FC 450 flat track exhaust. Thank you for watching.